I'm ready for This is the UTG Swap Force LED Tactical Flashlight 200 Luminance. UTG stands for Youth Unleash the Glow. Product number Combat LED Flashlight. Now, I'm going to give you the specs on the side here 37mm LED IRB 2000 Luminance, max output, 90 minutes of battery life. Take CR123 batteries. There are three included the pressure switch included and the uh, mounting deck for a uh, gun. Now, before I bought this, I looked it up. And it seems that a lot of people use this as a uh, airsoft light. I don't know if that is what this this is particularly made for or if someone decided hey this looks pretty good for an air airsoft flashlight I don't know but I liked it and I don't plan on putting it on an airsoft gun because I don't play airsoft and I really thought it was a good looking light so I went home and researched it and I uh, bought it at a gun show in Owensboro for sixty dollars this is what you get when it comes with it it says that it is shockproof don't know if that's true or what, but it says it's shockproof. So supposedly you're supposed to be able to put this on a real gun, but this is what it'll look like when it comes to you. Um, you got the light, and you got the CR123 batteries. I'll put the batteries in real quick to show you, and then I will show you the mounting deck set up after I set all this up for you. Just to show you the brightness on this. So your CR123s go through the tube. This is a supposedly aircraft aluminum or some kind of aluminum type deal. Um, it's uh, waterproof. I'll show you that. It's got two O-rings right here. Three O-rings right here. And two O-rings in here. So uh, it sounds pretty waterproof, but I haven't really tried it because I don't want to dip a $60 flashlight in the water unless I see somebody do it first. But um, it's got two modes. It's got the mode where you twist it all the way, twist this end cap all the way down, it comes on, or you just got a uh, temporary push button illuminating. So, um, it's supposedly roll proof. It rolls. Which, this is a, this is an angle death. So, uh, it doesn't really do it justice, but you can see where it doesn't get the no roll deal. I've used this thing a lot. You can tell by the wear there, a little bit of wear. But, uh, it's got the little, um, type, it's like a, like a, weird looking uh, reflector I guess it gives it more reflection whatever but um, I'm gonna turn the camera off and set this up with the mounting deck and the pressure switch and set I'll come back the uh, pressure switch press the switcher switch pressure switch down light comes on pressure switch down down on. It runs like that. It comes with the Velcro pieces, so you can put one on here, put the other on the handle of your gun. And so when you got a hold of your gun, all you do is press this down. Comes on. You can either you can probably you can mount this on the side of your gun with these uh, mounts here. 
you just untwist them, put them on the rack, tighten them down, and you're ready to go. And come around the corner, no one's there. There you go, there's just some light. So, this is uh, my review, or sort of overview, of the UTG Swap Force. Uh, um, I counted the old rings when I put it together. It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight o rings in this. So I'm sort of convinced that this is a waterproof light, but um, I'm not going to completely go dunk it in water unless I have to accident have to. You know, out in the middle of a storm or something after a storm happens, going outside, pouring down rain. You guys know how that goes. So, um, I was caught in the bind last year and didn't have any good flashlights with me. I couldn't really see what I was doing. But I did have a Husky um, spotlight, which did help during the uh, tornado and ice storm. Oh man, that was some pain. Right there. I don't even videotape any of that. But, um, yeah, this is the UTG. Zero focus. Swap force. Focus. There you go. Talk to you guys later.